Many more will keep on suffering. How many more will keep on dying? How many more will sit back patiently, waiting on humanity? How many more will have to lose their lives while the world stands and stares? How many more will keep on wondering? Does the world really care? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعه وله وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد We seek refuge in Allah from Satan the cursed in the name of Allah the most gracious most merciful we start we praise Allah we seek his help we ask him for his forgiveness and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his household, his companions, and whoever follows him till the day of judgment. And we ask Allah the Almighty to be among those who follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam until we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala and until we gather under the banner and with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam on al hawd on the pool of uh, in yawm al-qiyamah bi idhnillahi ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue resisting the shaitan together. We continue blocking his approaches and his attacks. We continue in supporting and strengthening each other. We, we continue in reflecting on the Quran and in the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu We continue to learn together. And what else we do in this life except learning? How to be servants of Allah, how to be ibad of Ar-Rahman, how to be ibad true servant slaves of Allah, true slave servants of Allah, and through which, through which only, through only which we would be the ones that shaitan will never have authority over. Going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always going back to Allah azza wa jal, always making tawbah to Allah, always repenting to Allah, always seeking the forgiveness of Allah, it does not mean that you are doing something wrong, but it always reminding yourself, reminding myself that I'm always in need of Allah. Sometimes I do things that I'm not aware of. Sometimes I do things that I belittle. Sometimes I think I'm on the right path, but who knows? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. That's why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam always ask Allah azza wa jal, ask his ref refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from committing association with Allah while being aware of and asking Allah's forgiveness for not being aware of certain things. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika shay'an a'lamu wa astaghfiruka lima la a'lamu. Ya Allah, I seek refuge in you from committing shirk while I'm aware of and I seek your forgiveness for what I'm not aware of. Sometimes our heart, sometimes shaitan manages to get through to us in a way or another. So we ask forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the tool of today. That is the method by which you resist shaitan today together. Inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How beautiful is the word tawbah. See, the word subhanallah comes from the tongue and from the throat. Tawbah. It comes from your lips and from your chest to feel that you are uttering it and you are feeling it as well. Even linguistically, the word expresses what it implies. The word gives you the feeling of what it implies. You say something, but you have to feel it inside. And that's the basic definition of tawbah, subhanallah, to stop what you're doing wrong, to regret that you did it one day, to promise yourself and to pledge to Allah Azza wa Jal that you'll never do it again. And if it involves somebody's right, you have to give them that right. If you are able to, if you're not able to, you have to seek forgiveness for them as well. So seeking forgiveness in Allah Azza wa Jal. Seeking forgiveness not only prevents shaitan from coming, but brings the pleasure of Allah, brings the rizq of Allah. Allah give you barakah in your children, your health, your wealth. Allah send rain. Allah bring vegetation. Allah give barakah. Allah establish justice. Because we seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and don't say that I did not do anything wrong today. See what Rasulullah sallallahu used to do after every salah. After he says, Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, he says, Astaghfirullah. Just pray it, subhanallah. And you say, Astaghfirullah, three times. The Sahaba used to narrate that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa used to make 60 or 100 times a day. And sometimes in the same exact session, he will make istighfar while he's teaching them, while he's sitting. Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam used to say to his people as, 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 as revealed in Surah Nuh, and I told them to seek the forgiveness of your Lord because he is the oft forgiving. will send rain in abundance. And he will provide you with wealth, different types of wealth. And children. And he will give you and provide you with gardens. will entitle you to gardens in this dunya. And the rivers will flow with barakah, subhanallah. So this is the result of istighfar. Sayyidina Hud alayhi salam said about istighfar, وَيَزِدُكُمْ قُوَّةً إِلَىٰ قُوَّتِكُمْ And he will give you your own strength. Istighfar will give you strength, yes. Will give you physical strength, absolutely. And when you are physically as well as spiritually strong, how shaitan can get to you? المؤمن القوي خير وأحب إلى الله من المؤمن الضعيف. The strong believer, physically and spiritually, is dearer to Allah than a weak believer, physically, of course. So, and both have goodness, as Rasulullah sallallahu said. So, tawba to Allah. Among the names of Allah is At-Tawwab and Al-Ghafoor and Al-Ghaffar. The one who accepts the repentance, the one who forgives the sins, and the one who forgives the sins repeatedly, all the time. Allah Azza wa Jal, He is the one, Ghafoor, Rahim, with His mercy subhanahu wa ta'ala, He forgives uh, us. Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran, after saying that the believers do not commit major sins, do not kill, do not associate with Allah Azza wa Jal, do not kill the soul of Allah that Allah forbid without the right and do not commit adultery or fornication, and they do not steal, and they do not eat the money of, uh, of each other without right. And Allah Azza wa after that, He said, whoever does that will go in, in severe punishment except those who believe, those who do good deeds, and those who repent to Allah. إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Allah will exchange their bad deeds with good deeds. وَمَنْ تَابَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَإِنَّهُ يَتُوبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَتَابًا They repent to Allah Azza wa Jalla who does believe in Allah and do good, pious, righteous deeds truly is the repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us how repentance to Allah Azza wa Jalla looks like. And this is a beautiful uh, image that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew for us. Very vivid image. Listen to it with your hearts, my brothers and sisters, with me. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the repentance of one of you to Allah azza wa jal after committing a sin or after doing something wrong is someone is like someone traveling in the desert with his camel which is loaded with all his possessions and his luggage and then the camel runs away from him he sleeps under a tree and then the camel goes away he wakes up he could not find his camel so he realizes that he will die because now he's hungry he's thirsty he does not have anything he does not have means of transportation anymore and it is a very long passage exactly like one of us committing a sin lost in this dunya lost from Allah Azza wa Jal lost the way of Allah I'm sorry lost the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then realize that the shaitan will devour me now the shaitan will attack me now the shaitan will subdue me now and I'm lost I'm sinful then Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, then the person, while he is in such desperate state, he finds his camel coming close to him, standing in front of him. He takes his rope and he's so happy to the point to express his happiness, thanking Allah. He said, Allahumma anta abdi wa ana rabbuk, instead of saying the opposite. Instead of saying, Allahumma anta rabbi wa ana abduk, O oh Allah, you are my Lord. You are my master and I'm your slave. He reversed it. He said, oh Allah, you are my slave and I am your master. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, nasiya min shiddat al-farah. From this utter happiness, he forgot what he's saying. But because Allah azza wa jal knows the situation he's in, Allah forgives subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah 
is happier than that person with your repentance to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happier than that person with getting his camel back. So when you are sinful, you are lost in the desert like that camel is lost. And that person receives his camel back. Allah Azza wa Jal is our master. And when we go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is happy with that. And Allah forgives. And that's the hadith narrated in Sahih Muslim. Allah Azza wa Jal, he's saying, if we go to him, بِقُرَابِ الْأَرْضِ خَطَايَا The count sins with sins, the count of the particles of dirt and sand on this earth. Can you count the particles of dirt in your own palm, let alone in the whole world, since Allah created it until the day of judgment? If you come with that amount of sin, but you are not associating with Allah anyone, and you are so sincere, Allah will forgive you without saying anything. Subhanallah. You are dealing with Allah who is at tawab who is al ghafur Tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal. Repenting to Allah. Why shaitan is so scared from you making tawbah to Allah? Because you know you are sinful and you realized it, you admitted it, and you're ready to fix. And you are hoping in Allah's mercy, you're crying, you're so sad, you are so afraid. That's why Allah will accept you. Not like him. When he committed the sin, and he was reminded it is a sin, he insisted. That's why when you make sajda to Allah Azza wa Jal, when you hear the sajda in the Quran, you make sajda, shaitan runs away and said, woe to me, the servant of Allah is ordered to make sajda, and he did without questioning, willingly, happy, happily he does it, and I reject it. That's why the shaitan does not like you to make tawbah. That's why many of our guided processors, scholars told us that bid'ah, Innovation in the religion is dearer to shaitan than sin. Al-bid'atu ahabbu ila iblis min al-ma'asiyah. Bid'ah, innovation in the religion, is dearer to iblis than disobedience. Why? Because a believer, when he disobeys Allah, he knows that he's disobeying Allah, and he goes back to Allah. Allah accepts him. Allah forgives the sin. Allah even exchanges it with good deeds, and he goes clean. But the innovation, the person who's doing it, thinking that they are pleasing Allah. So that's a different type of disobedience. Disobeying Allah while thinking to please Allah. Trying to please Allah with something that Allah did not allow and sanction. And the Rasul did not show. Then it becomes a habit and that's why shaitan likes that. So disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only way to solve it is through repentance. And repentance is continuous one, my brothers and sisters. So always seek the forgiveness of Allah 70 times, 100 times a day. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh. Astaghfirullah al-azim. Min kulli dhanbin azim wa atubu ilayh. I seek forgiveness of Allah from all sins and I go back to him and repent to him. Say the istighfar I finish with. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa anta. Oh Allah, you are my Lord, no one worthy of worship but you. Khalaqtani, you created me. Wa ana abduk and I am your servant. Wa ana ala ahdika wa ahdika mustata'at. I am in the fulfillment of your promise and covenant as much as I can. أبوء لك بن أعوذ بك اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك وعدك مستطاع يا الله I seek refuge in you from everything I do أبوء لك بنعمتك علي وأبوء بذنبي and I am confessing my sin فاغفر لي forgive me فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت no one would forgive except you يا الله may Allah forgive us all أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته how many more will have to lose their lives while the world stands and stares? How many more will keep on wondering, does the world really care? Mm. No more killing, no more war. How many more will keep on suffering? How many more will keep on dying? How many more will sit back patiently 
waiting on humanity How many more will have to lose their lives While the world stands